Hi and welcome to the channel. Now in today's video I'll be adjusting the uh, DC bias and the DC offset on my Sansui AU317 amplifier. It is similar to a 217, AU217 I did a little while ago but uh, with a 317 we can actually adjust the DC offset as well to get it down to zero. So uh, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, sorry about the noise by the way, the PC, it's the, the fan's quite loud uh, but I'll have it on to show you on the screen but I'm going to put a few pictures up as well so you can see what's happening so uh, first thing I did was to download the manual for the 317 so we can get the instructions here uh, so even though it tells you what variable resistor to uh, to alter I'm going to show you where they are on the board to save you looking for them if you're going to uh, attempt this yourself now what I will say is that uh, to do these adjustments you've got to take the top cover off and uh, when we actually start doing the readings, the amplifier's got to be switched on. So make sure uh, none of your fingers or, you know, we're near the amplifier, let's put it that way, because you can get a shock off the amplifier. And uh, when we're taking any probes off, as I'll be showing you, and putting them somewhere else, uh, make sure the amplifier is turned off and unplugged from the mains as well. Because even though it's turned off, you want it unplugged from the mains as well, because uh, you know, juice or power is getting to the amplifier, it's going through the amplifier. Uh, and it's going to just stop at the on off switch so if you accidentally touch a side of that or any connections in between you could get a nasty shock so just bear that in mind be very careful if you're going to attempt this yourself but uh, just going to show you what I did now uh, to you to do this we're going to use a meter I've got a few to choose from uh, today I'm going to use this meter here and we're all for all the readings we're going to put it on DC volts and these are very low readings. In fact, one of them is supposed to be zero and the other one's just going to be 10 millivolts. So we want it on the lowest volt setting possible. DC volts. And my lowest setting on here is 2,000 millivolts or 2 volts. So that's my lowest setting. You may have a meter that goes down to 200 or 20 even. So that'd be even better. But this is uh, still going to give an accurate reading. Um, I've actually compared this to my other three meters and they're all pretty much exactly the same with each other. So that's great. Okay, so we're going to be using this meter, don't forget, I want to emphasise this, to put it on volts, the lowest volt setting possible that's uh, above 10 millivolts. So if you've got 20 millivolts, 200 millivolts, or in my case, 2000 millivolts, that's the reading we're going to use. So I'm going to show you how I connected it all up and everything. So first of all, uh, this is, the, like I say, the Sansui 317. I've took the top off, which consisted of six screws. Uh, sorry, eight screws. There's three on one side, three on the other side, and two at the top. So that's what it looks like inside. To make our job easier, we're going to take this little shield off as well here. So uh, it's just three screws holding that on. So we've undone them three screws. Well, I've undone them three screws. And that leaves us that. So we've got a better look at the circuit board. So what we're going to do first of all is the DC bias we're going to do first. Even though that manual, if we go back to the manual, it says 1, 2, and it does the DC offset. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the DC bias first. I can always come back. I'm going to do the offset next. Then I can always come back and double check. So we're going to maybe do this reading twice just to double check. It stays where it is. Because altering one of these, may, you know, if you alter this, it may interfere with that. If you alter that, it may interfere with this just slightly. So you just want to go backwards and forwards maybe a couple of times to each kind of uh, setup so you get them exactly right. Anyway, we'll, we'll go along and you'll see what's happening. Okay, so here's the board uh, and these these little things here, these little variable resistors, this is what we'll be using. So if I just change pictures now, I'll try to make it as easy as possible here. As you look at the amplifier, looking at this particular way, where we've got the power caps here and the big transformers just over here. Looking at it, this is the left channel. Everything on this side of the green line is the left channel and everything this side of the green line is the right channel adjustments, depending on what we're doing. So uh, for this particular um, adjustment or check, whichever you want to call it, you may want to check, it may be spot on, but if it isn't, you can do some adjusting. It's, uh, I've just zoomed in a little bit more. We're going to be using these little pots here. Don't forget, this is the left-hand side a channel pot and this is the right-hand channel pot. So we're going to do the left first. And this is our connections we're going to use. We're going to take some connections off of here. These are two little pins that stick up in between the transistors. And uh, I'm going to be using a crocodile grip. I mean, some people may just want to put their probe on it and kind of just hold it on there. But when you're trying to do that, read the meeting and read the meter, should I say, and also do the adjustment. It's going to be fairly awkward. So what I usually do is get a crocodile clip, only a small one, and put it on the end of one of the probes like so. So this will be one crocodile clip. 
and I'll do the same again with the other croc with the other probe as well. Put another crocodile clip on there. You'll see it in there. But what you've got to be careful is I'm going to put the other end of the crocodile clip of each of these probes, one to here and one to there kind of thing. You'll see that. Uh, is make sure you don't short these out. This will be laying on the bench somewhere, these probes. Make sure they ain't touching each other like that. They're, they're apart from each other. Once you short it out. So just make sure they're apart from each other. Like I say, remember you've got your meter at millivolts as well. So let's go on to that. If I just show you that picture. Uh, where are we? This picture here. There you can see I've got my two crocodile clips. The red one is to the positive of the uh, probe and the white one's actually going to the negative or the, the black. So there you go and uh, what I've done, there's a little pot there uh, as you can see there. So it's, that is that pot there. Uh, I've adjusted that. You either turn it left, you know, anti-clockwise should I say, or clockwise and the reading uh, on your meter obviously uh, what you do is just I just kind of jumps ahead of myself a little bit they're the adjustments yeah this is the connection this is when the amplifier's off when the amplifier's off just want to stress this off and unplugged as well don't just have it off because uh, you may touch something it's still voltage going in there make sure it's unplugged uh, you've got your meter on millivolts and you connect one crocodile clip here to here and say this is the other crocodile clip from the other probe goes to this side here once you've got it in there, they're nice and tight. They're not going to short out anywhere. Just make sure you don't short out against the aluminium chassis here. Uh, that's why it's best to use these aluminium. These are crocodile clips. It's got this little bit of plastic so you can clip it on and push the plastic as tight as possible so it doesn't short out against this aluminium. Uh, you can turn your amplifier on then and your amplifier's got to be uh, zero volume. Your volume on zero. No speakers attached. Uh, no speakers attached. Volume on zero on auxiliary and you have to leave it on it says for three minutes in the manual or more i usually leave it on for about 15 minutes something like that let it warm up uh, so if we go back to this picture now after doing all that we can adjust this anti-clockwise or clockwise till we get 10 millivolts on our meter just make sure like i say you've got it on the millivolt one the lowest setting and as you can see 10 millivolts once we've done that and got it at 10 we turn the amplifier off unplug the amplifier okay so it's unplugged then take these crocodile clips off and we're going to put them over the other side so uh, just to show you there whoops that's not the one that's the one that's the left side this is the right side we've just done the left we're going to go over to the right so we'll be adjusting this pot here now for the right channel so that's the left that's the right so we've got the right connected up there and we're going to adjust this pot here on the right hand side don't forget the line come down the middle there on the right hand side we're going to adjust that pot once we turn the amplifier back on obviously uh, and get 10 millivolts on these two pins here. Once we've done that, that's great. Uh, don't remove the pins until you turn the amplifier off and you've unplugged it. That's the time to remove them crocodile clips. Don't start, remember to turn it off and unplug it. You can kind of skip that sometimes without thinking, kind of getting ahead of yourself, which I've done in this a little bit. Uh, just take your time if you're going to attempt this yourself. And then once you've got it on 10, that is your DC bias sorted out. So what we're going to do is go over to the DC offset. Okay, something I did miss out there. Uh, why we pick 10 millivolts? Because that's what it tells us to pick. It's on this part here. This is the DC bias here. And it says 10 millivolts for each channel. So that's why we chose 10 millivolts DC. Okay, now we're going to go on to uh, the DC offset. And uh, again, make sure our meter is on millivolts and uh, towards the lowest setting as we can. Mine's on 2000, your meter may say 200, something like that, or 100, somewhere around there. And uh, we're looking for zero. We want to do these adjustments. I'm going to show you which pots to adjust for each channel to get it down to zero. Uh, and that'd be great. So what we're going to do this time, we're not going to be using any crocodile clips or anything like that. This particular amplifier has got some spring clip terminals at the back. And we're just going to be putting the black one into the negative and the red one into the positive. The, on, on the channel, we're going to be testing. So we're going to start off the left hand channel. And there's my two probes. That's the positive speaker. This is the negative speaker. As you can see, my two probes are in there with the amplifier turned off and unplugged. Volume on zero, auxiliary. Nothing connected to it, everything unplugged. And this is the pots we'll be using, it is our left channel again. This is a coarse adjustment, this bottom blue one. And this is a fine adjustment, the top blue one on the left hand side. 
So, uh, yeah, so depending on what reading you get, you may turn it on and your mum may say, I would just, for instance, say 20 millivolts. So you may just want to adjust that course one down to 10 or 5 or something like that. And as you adjust it, you'll find out that it kind of jumps quite a bit, i.e. course. Uh, so you may get it as near as to zero as possible. You may not quite get it on zero. Once you get it to near as possible, we're going to use that fine adjust just to tune it right in and that'll get it down to zero. So uh, that's that left hand channel connected up to my meter on 200 sorry 2000 millivolts and we've got a reading of zero so that's great that's with the amplifier turned on there so what we're going to do is turn the amplifier off unplug it and we're going to flick over to the right hand channel put our two probes in the right hand channel that's the negative and the red is the positive on the speakers make sure our meter is still where it is you haven't adjusted the meter or anything else uh, then to Plug in our amplifier, turn it back on again, and we're going to be adjusting this side now. And that's the course down the bottom of the right hand channel that we're testing, and that's the fine of the right hand channel. So we're going to get it, like I say, as near as possible with the course. And once we've got it really close with the fine, just tune it in until we finally got it down to zero on our meter. So that's it, that's done. But what we should do now is, is whip back and go back to our previous one, how we did the. Um, DC bias just just do that again connect up the crocodile clips to their respective positions as we did in the first test and just double check that it's still saying 10 millivolts uh, it should do or should be very very close so if it isn't you may just want to slightly adjust them again then come back here once you've done that for both channels come back here maybe just toying about backwards and forwards a couple of times to get them both on zero but i was pretty lucky here um you know sometimes it affects it sometimes it don't depending on the amplifier you're doing it etc on my one uh, as soon as i've done the adjustments as i did here i went back and it was spot on still so uh, you know i say you know just it's just as a double check really you go back and do the dc bias as you did in the first part of this video just double check that it's reading the same after doing this adjustment because they can't you know certain amplifiers the way they uh, done and that they can slightly interfere with each other so that's it that is um doing the dc offset and the dc bias on this particular amplifier uh, so that's it until the next video i'll say thanks for watching i'll see you all soon